Today we're going to talk about the histogram, which is your best friend in the camera. Now, the histogram is basically a graph that shows you where all the tones in your photograph reside in relationship to the exposure you're trying to take. Most people who have problems with exposure have those problems because they trust the screen on the back of their camera and that's a problem because that screen can be brightened up, it can be darkened down based on your preference. Whereas the, the histogram is a scientific measure of what your exposure actually looks like, what the camera has actually captured. And that's why we want to use that histogram in all of our judgments about our photograph before we leave the camera. When we look at a photograph of the backdrop behind me, the histogram shows a pile of pixels in the dark gray section of the histogram. That's properly exposed because a properly exposed histogram looks like whatever is in front of the camera. Paying attention to your histogram will help you not only to avoid catastrophe like way overexposing and way underexposing your images, but it'll also allow you to make sure that you have the correct information, the best data possible, so that when you go into post-production, you can actually manipulate that data and information and make the absolute best quality image possible for the final print. So take a look again at the image of the background with its histogram and watch how that histogram changes as we add the model from our photo shoot into the background. And you can see that the histogram increases over on the right hand side and we start to see a little pile of pixels that are light in color and that is our model. When I'm shooting, I never look at the full screen image. I'm always looking at the RGB histograms because that's where all the information is about my exposure. In fact, it's the only accurate information you have at your camera about your exposure. So, when you are photographing, make sure you're always looking at those histograms to make sure you get your exposures correct. Now, in this circumstance, we were able to control all of the lighting, but out on location, sometimes it's a little more difficult. So join us on the next video where we show you how to deal with really difficult lighting situations on location and use that histogram to make sure that you have the proper exposure for the perfect print later on in post-production. Also, if you'd like more information about the histogram, this is a small portion of a larger class on the histogram itself and on pre-visualizing your images for post-production coming soon.